Uh, hey, I'm Justin, and this is my self-organizing map. Um, it basically is a dimensionality reducing visualization. So given like a 3D vector input space, uh, you can sort of compress that down to two dimensions and visualize um, sort of a clustering of, of class types um, on a map. So if I speed it up a little bit, we'll see that um, green things tend to cluster and red classes tend to cluster and blue tends to cluster as well. And then upon training, um, sort of arbitrary, but it's for around 10 epochs through, uh, through a set of training data. Now it's important that the training data is labeled, otherwise there's nothing to learn. It's sort of like doing flashcards where um, at some point you should know the answer uh, when you flip over the flashcard. Um, However, say we want to search for like a, a wilder, which is essentially a, a vector um, that isn't necessarily part of the training space. Um, this could just be arbitrary. And upon pressing predict, it will um, find the best match based on Euclidean distance um, from the weights and return a prediction of what it thinks the class type is. So to be clear, this, this exact input was most likely not given to this map to be trained with, but it's still able to uh, do relative clustering based on a competition algorithm. Um, and we can actually give it completely a whole new set of data and compute its accuracy. So I just copy and pasted this and we'll see that um, we get about 85% accuracy. Um, the reason for, I guess, immoderately low accuracy for most, or what you'd expect from a machine learning model is that we only, I'm only using like about 420 nodes here, about 21 by 21, so 441 uh, neurons. Something in the thousands would perform much better as you have just simply more space to perform clustering, which allows for finer gradients. I mean, you can see here between like the red cluster and this green cluster, we have a gradient of maybe one or two uh, neurons. There's not much room to allow for um, gradients. If we adjust our space, you see we have 120, 21. If we remove some of these, we now have 104. This has changed dynamically, but our accuracy is still um, just going to be computed based off of how much we're giving it. Um, also, the amount of training data, so not testing data, but training data that was given um, was quite low. So with more training data, this could be a bit more accurate as well. Um, I guess we'll just try another prediction. See, we got a blue one down here. Um, and yeah, that was my self-organizing map. Thanks for thanks for looking. Oh, actually, before I end it, um, this testing data, you can actually do a pretty wide range of inputs because I wrote this regex um, pattern matching, um, just a simple form of parsing. It just looks for the characteristics of the, the input space as defined here. Okay, now thanks for watching.